So we have our poster design now finished. And what we'll do next is see an example of how flexible Illustrator and its artwork is by taking some of the components from this artwork and then turning it into a web graphic. Now, in order to do that, we need to create a new document. So we'll go up to file and then choose new. When the style box pops up on screen, it may well be that it's smaller than this. So if I just collapse the size of this to as small as it will get, it quite often appears like this for the very first time at this sort of size. It is worthwhile just making sure that you hover over the bottom right corner and click and drag and make that larger just to make life a little bit easier. And from here, then we need to create a new web graphic. We're going to actually turn some of the artwork into a, um, a cover image for a Twitter profile. So in this scenario, I'm going to look, click on web. These are the different types of documents that you can create across the top. And then it will give you a series of thumbnails underneath for, for typical kinds of files uh, in terms of width and height. So it, out of these, it doesn't really matter which one we pick in this scenario. We're not really interested in the width and height, but just that it's going to create something that's suitable for the web. And then once we've clicked on one of those, it'll be highlighted in blue. You go over to the right hand side and the rest of the work is done over there. So if I click in where it reads untitled and swipe over that heading in there, I'm going to call this banner underscore zero one. Now, the reason why I put an underscore in there is because try and not to put spaces in your file names that makes them more likely to become corrupt or damaged possibly in the future. So I'll use an underscore an O one because, well, this is the first version of the document. If, if this was a complex piece of artwork and I need to work on it over several days, I won't just have one file. I may at the end of the first day, go to file, choose save as, and save it as banner row two and save in sequence so that if something does happen to your file, and it becomes irretrievable, you can always go back to the previous version. And then under width and height, well, for the width of a Twitter cover, it currently is 1500 pixels. Do just make sure that it reads pixels in here. Again, that was defined because this is a web graphic. It's not measured in millimeters or inches. And then for the height, swipe over that and type in 500. And we only need one artboard in here. We don't need a bleed because this is not a print based document. So we can leave those set to zero. Notice that down here as well, it tells us that the color mode will be RGB. Now, the reason for that is that this artwork will be displayed on the Twitter feed and online on a screen, in other words, and the colors on a screen are produced with mixtures of red, green, and blue, not the printing inks of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Illustrator is trying to steer us in the right direction by setting the defaults for things that are suitable for screen and web in this case. And with that done, I'll click on create. And there we have our blank artboard that is specifically set to the size that we need to output for the web. All we need to do now is to put artwork into it.